Hey guys, Dean here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and download T-Launcher Legacy. This is not to be confused with the normal T-Launcher that so many of you guys are using. Before you ask, I don't know if T-Launcher Legacy is a cracked launcher or not. I don't know how all that works. I personally own a premium version of Minecraft and I recommend you to do so. But if you have an account, there's been a controversy recently where people believe T-Launcher has spyware, the new T-Launcher, but this does not come from me because I don't want to slander T launcher I don't really understand if this is true or not but a lot of people believe this which is why they might want to install the old version of T launcher T launcher legacy which allegedly doesn't contain spyware or that's what people are saying that's what the rumors are saying so I'm going to show you how to install this so basically this is pictures of T launcher legacy this is the classic version of T launcher I believe this is like before certain developers split away from the group this is like an older version correct me if I'm wrong in the comments so go ahead press download for Windows these three dots takes you down here where you can install either the Windows version, the Mac version, which works on Mac-based devices. Then you also have things like Arc Linux and Linux, Ubuntu Linux, and a few other operating systems as well as installing Java manually. You have the FAQ here if you have any questions. So is it safe? Is it free? Can you install mods? And this has some automatic mod installation and then you can also join the Discord for support down there too. Next, what you want to go ahead and do is go into your downloads folder and double click on the file and just press run. This is the downloads folder wherever your files go so if you're using google chrome it's usually just a folder called downloads unless you've changed it press ok it'll bring you to this installer over here just keep pressing next and press next again and then it will install it into this path so just remember this if you need to go into the folder press next and we'll create a desktop shortcut and then now we'll wait for it to install so this is the basic part and then after we've installed it i'm going to show you how to set up the launcher how we can install things like mods through it and just show you what everything does so tick this launch legacy launcher stable press finish this will launch t launcher legacy then you just press i got it to accept the terms of use and now we just wait for it to load so this kind of reminds you of a classic minecraft loader right it's like the original launchers so this is where you will create a profile now you're wondering where's the login screen well you don't technically need a login but before you download this use an official minecraft account okay don't play cracked minecraft don't pirate minecraft it's against the law in the top left it's an about button, so it shows you about T-Launcher Legacy. So nothing really changed apart from the name. They've split apart from T-Launcher.org and they've renamed themselves to TL Legacy rather than T-Launcher Legacy, but it is T-Launcher. What you can do is you can click create and manage accounts and then you press plus over here. And this is where you can add an account to the launcher. So you can add an account from multiple different methods. So Microsoft is what you typically use. Free without a password is for people who don't really want to play official Minecraft. If you want to connect your Mojang, press microsoft this will open up a web browser and you press yes and it will allow you to access your microsoft account now it's automatically linked so now i can go back to the loader and my account's here so i can just double click this or i can just go ahead and press on the home button and now i have my account the blue crusader the reason this was linked so quickly is i've already logged into my microsoft account on my web browser otherwise it would ask me for my username email and password and i'd have to log in and then connect it if you're already logged in it's as quick and simple as that if not you just log in after it asks you so that's how to connect an account you need to link your mojang account to a microsoft account i believe to use this because it only showed me a microsoft account then force update is to force update the game delayed start is to launch the minecraft version automatically upon start so i'm going to untick that then here's your releases so which version of minecraft do you want to play with t launcher legacy so as you can see it supports literally every single version so we've got the latest stable release which as we know is 1.19.4 at the time of this video but by the time you watch this 1.20 has probably already come out because it's coming out in a few days from when I'm recording this, but this will work for any version. So this tutorial will still be useful at any point, right? But at this point, it's all the way up to 1.19.4. And then the latest snapshot is obviously the latest snapshot build. And then anything below that is the past versions of the snapshot. So this would be the latest preview build of version 1.20 before the official build comes out, which would then be the latest release once 1.20 releases, right? You get the idea. Then if we scroll down, you also have the mod versions for each version so we have fabric 1.19.4 quilt which is just like fabric it uses the same mods i believe we have optifine for people wanting to use shaders and graphics 
mods and then just general release 1.19.4 which is the same as this technically but that's just a stable build of vanilla okay and then down here we have snapshots from 1.19.4 and then we'll get into the older version so this list is absolutely massive and we can go all the way back to the official release version of minecraft 1.0 now obviously the downside about this launcher is it only supports builds from minecraft 1.0 onwards so we can't actually play any version before the official build so that means we can't play the betas we can't play the alphas okay the missing from this list but as you know my favorite mod pack of all time tech it classic is on forge 1.2.5 so those old builds are actually pretty good for all my mod fans out there i am actually going to select a more recent build and this build is actually going to be a modded build so let's go ahead we'll select this we'll scroll down we're going to select fabric 1.19.4 for this and there's a few buttons here so this is your help button if you need any solutions to your questions or help click this button you can also leave the questions down below in the comments of this video and i'll get back and help you as soon as possible and then also folder this opens up the game folder so if i press this it opens up the t launcher folder inside here this will be the folders of all of our minecraft versions which will go inside versions when we install them this button here is refresh so this refreshes all your profiles then we have preferences so this lets us change all of our preferences so in here this is going to be very useful right so this is the directory so we can change this if we want to install into a new location other than the default we can launch minecraft in full screen by default and we can also change the resolution so if i wanted to launch minecraft in 1080p i type in 1920 by 1080 and then i could tick or untick full screen depending what i want i usually like to launch it in something like 720 p like that we can also click on the version list option so here is where we can add that support for alpha versions so we can tick alpha from 2010 we can also enable beta from 2010 to 2011 we can also enable other launchers and we can also click on experimental as well so now we have all of the minecraft versions possible although there's no in dev here but i think that goes under experimental then java jre we leave it on recommended but by default it's on java 17 this might be different for you if if you're on a newer version of minecraft i think it's post caves and cliffs update you need to have java 17 or it might even be 1.16 i think it was the nether update you need java 16 or 17 onwards otherwise the game crashes so make sure that's done recommended should be fine it should have automatically installed it for you if not go and configure from there we can change recommended to a different build like custom for an example and then we can select our java path we can add our java arguments and our minecraft arguments over here but i'd recommend keeping it on recommended if you don't understand that this is going to be the biggest thing Thing for people playing mods especially on this channel and if you want to install mod packs and that's memory which is your ram so by default the ram is kind of in the middle so we've clicked on auto so we can't actually click anywhere on this list otherwise it makes sound and won't let us change it but by default it's on 4096 which is four gigabytes of ram now my computer as you can see on the upper echelon has 32 gigabytes of ram which means i can assign much more so i'm going to untick auto and i'm going to change this let's just say 11 gigabytes of ram because that just is enough ram for any mod pack right but i could assign more depending on how much i want so you need to figure out how much ram your computer has and you need to assign enough for minecraft to run now normal minecraft unmodded four gigabytes is fine a modded version of minecraft i'd recommend anywhere from like six to eight gigabytes plus because mods can be really taxing on your system then we have others so this is skins so if you want to use skins obviously t launch has custom skin support you can tick this instead of default skins that's for people who don't have an official minecraft account who still want to play with skins right but that's nor here nor there then suggest servers is them promoting servers now you can untick this obviously if you don't want them to promote things which is pretty cool press save and then under the launcher setting we can change the window size the size of the font and basically everything which is shown inside this launcher we can tell it to alert us on new versions such as releases and snapshots and we can also switch to the beta we can also change the language if you're from a different country maybe people from india are watching this for an example they could change the language here or anyone around the world then about us is just more faq so just press save you can also reset to defaults if you mess anything up from here we can also go into manage versions so you can see we have the version list we can click on one and press x so we can actually remove versions off the list if we don't want them and manage accounts again is the account that we did before so now we're going to click on install and play for the version we selected which was fabric 1.19.4 to show you what installing a custom minecraft profile is like and then show you how to set that up further with t launcher legacy now this is a very simple launcher to use guys t launcher legacy is a stable launcher it's a safe launcher and a lot of people are using this so don't get this confused with t launcher.org this is not t launcher this is technically 
basically TL Legacy, but it's the old version of T-Launcher. This is safe, stable, a lot of people stick by this loader. I don't personally use this launcher, but it's very powerful and it's got some nice features, okay? So next I'm going to show you how to install mods. So let's wait for this. You've got to wait for this loading bar at the bottom where it says downloading resources. Once this completes, our profile will have installed. You can see how many files we've got remaining at the bottom right, and then we can progress onto the next step. So as you can now see over here, we have Minecraft, which is loaded in that 720p window that I set it to. So I'm just going to enlarge it and press continue. And now we have our Minecraft open as it should be. So now we can play in the bottom left hand corner. It says modified fabric. So it has installed fabric. So from here, you could just press options, resource packs, open resource pack folder. And now we could just go into the game folder and we can install our mods into this mods folder, for an example. So that's how we'd install mods that we download off CurseForge. The same for things like resource packs. OK, so I'm going to close this now and then it's going to open up our T-Launcher by default. So that is how to manage our game and how to install things. Now, in T-Launcher Legacy, we can't install mods directly from the launcher itself. We have to install mods from CurseForge. So let me now quickly show you how to do that in case you don't know how to install mods on Minecraft. So I'm now on CurseForge on their website and depending on the version of Minecraft you've installed, we need to first select our game version. So scroll down on the left hand side, we're going to select 1.19.4 and then we also installed Fabric in T-Launcher. So we're going to tick Fabric. So this filters only Fabric mods. Now I'm going to install the first mod here, which is just enough items, which is just a recipe viewer mod. So we're going to press download, but we can also just click on 1.19.4 here to make sure we're getting the right version. And then we can find the one that says Fabric and click on that file and then download just to make sure we've got the right version. Now this will manually download our file. So I'm just going to press save. Now we can go back on T-Launcher Legacy and press this folder here. So this is going to open our Minecraft directory just like how I showed you to do it in game. This is how to do it from the launcher. So now go into our mods folder and in here we want to paste our mod in so i'm going to go to my downloads folder and in my downloads folder this file over here this jei is our just enough items mod right click and press cut go into our mods folder we just found from the launcher and press paste and now when we press enter the game and load our minecraft version we installed we'll now have the mod enabled okay you need to install fabric api before you have mods that actually can work so any fabric mod you install you first need to install fabric api so we're going to install this the exact same way that we just installed just of items we're going to download this we're going to put this in our mods folder like so and now when we launch the game from t-launcher legacy we won't have any errors like that at all okay because we've installed our mod and we've installed fabric api which is kind of like another mod which we need to get the fabric mod loader to work so now minecraft should launch successfully and it should all function appropriately and i'll prove that to you by launching the game so now we have minecraft so i'm going to go into single player we're just going to create a random creative world like so and just create a new world just to show you that the mods working so we are now in our minecraft world as you can see now to prove that just enough items has worked you can now see that we have this menu on the right hand side where we can view all of the items in game if we press r on an item it'll show us the item recipe so we've now installed our mod we can also have the config down here if we install another mod to get that working but you can now see we have the just enough items recipe and item viewer mod installed so this is how to install t launcher legacy how to set it up how to add more ram and also how to add mods to t launcher profiles so i hope this was useful make sure to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe for more awesome micro mods videos on this channel and if you have any questions put them all below in the comments and i'll try my best to help you out thanks for watching